Hello everyone. With this video, we are going to start exercise 9.2, and in this, we are going to solve the first question of this exercise. The question says, it is given that ABCD is a parallelogram where A is perpendicular on DC and CF is perpendicular on AD. And if the length of AB is equal to 16 cm, A is equal to 8 cm and CF is equal to 10 cm, we have to find AD. Okay, here the length of AB is given to you as 16 cm. The length of AE is equal to 8 cm, the length of AE. Okay, and the length of CF, the length of CF, the length from here till here is equal to 10 cm. You have to find the length of AD. Let the length of this AD is equal to 6 cm. Oh, sorry, x cm. Now, uh, I know that the formula to find the area of a parallelogram is equal to base into height. This is the formula to find the area of any parallelogram. Now, if I consider this as a base, for this base, the perpendicular will be this the corresponding perpendicular and if I consider this as a base so its corresponding perpendicular will be this CF but in both the cases area of this parallelogram will remain the same ok now first of all the side uh, the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal so AB equals to DC is equal to 6 cm AB must be equal to DC and that is equal to 16 cm opposite equal sides of a parallel ground now I have to find the area first of all I am considering this as the base so that applying the formula base into height is the area and the corresponding height to this base is this that is 8 cm will be equals to the area of the same parallelogram but in this case I am considering this as a base and that I consider is equal to x cm and for this base its corresponding height must be this and that is 10 cm that will be equal to 10 cm now solving this, I will get this base and that will be equal to, if I shift this, this side, here it is multiplying x, so here it should divide x, so the value of x must be equal to 16 multiplied by 8 is 6 8 up. carry 4, 8 ones are 8 and 4, 12 upon 10 and the value of x will be 12.8 cm. So this is how you can find the answer of this first question. I hope you have understood how to solve this. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.